Check out the Commander General Yohana, 55th Passover at the ISUPK. We need to be there. Be there. If it's Israelite, definitely be there. Not Israelite, you want to come see what they're about, pull up on their Passover. It's the 55th. 5 5 to 55th. Come check them out this year, and it's going down in Durham, North Carolina. Be there, be square. Come hot at it. Just like see. But this brother has a 24 by 7 clubhouse right now. You can say he's the only one that survived the update on Clubhouse. So, and he rocks, he gives people opportunity where they wouldn't have an opportunity. Like, I appreciate you, brother. Like, and, and that's coming from somebody that he's clashed with. And that's another like lesson to be known is that you can have a clash with a brother or a sister, and it's not the end of the world. It don't mean that you can't come back and be brothers again. You know what I'm saying? So, whack is a fucking cheat code. And you can put that up. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we dive to this lesson, giving our honor, no glory, no praise are due to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Hakadash, Dabai is a great master, a possible teacher, but well, peace and salutations to all for elect to scatter abroad like the other nation. Shalom, shalom, and shalom to the Sir Akim that's out there making a body. I live a sacrifice by going out there in the highways, byways, and hedges, proclaiming his truth. Teaching the 100% truth. Keep doing so to those that may be. Shalom, shalom. And the shalom to the Serakwathim that's out there resting their husbands, being a pillar of rest. Keep doing so to those that may be. Shalom, shalom. Okay. Yahweh, as it being the Heavenly Father, which the word ignorantly calls God, which his name means in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, he is to exist. Okay. Bahashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being on the begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, which the word ignorantly called Jesus the Christ. Which his name means in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, he is to deliver, he is the savior. Who is he the savior for? For the children of Israel only. Okay. And Okakadash being the Holy Spirit. Okay. So today's lesson is entitled Respect the Lord's Passover. All right. And it's basically off the this video is basically based off the first couple of seconds that you've seen of this video from the elder Matazak by South Carolina. This video and basically get, uh, subscribe to the elders channel and be well fed and brother the elder did a good video over this and i'm just uh laying back and off this you know and adding to you know and basically just showing that you know the lord's passover is not to be merchandise or to be made to make money off of okay because at the end of the day if you see this okay you see this and make a full screen, okay? I took a screenshot of it, okay? You read it. It says, the Lord's Passover, ISPK, 55th annual, okay? So, you see how much it is to pay to get into the Passover, okay? It's $200, okay, to participate in the Passover, <laughs> okay? Where is that in the Bible where you have to pay to participate in the Passover, okay? The way you participate in the Passover is you have to be an Israelite and you have to be circumcised, okay? And, and if you want to be real, the Lord's Passover is really for men, okay? Now, if a brother want to uh, hold the, uh, the, the, the Passover within his own house, okay? He can do so, you know, at his own leisure, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with the man holding a Passover at his own home. But at the same time, you see here, all right, it says $200 Passover fee, okay? Per adult, $18, uh, uh, eight, per adult, 18 plus, children are free. Passover fee includes all access, all access pass to all weekly ISUPK events. April 17th to 21st, it says Passover celebration. Uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread, General Haman Scripture Breakdown Class, the All Black Party with Free Babysitting, Lamb Slaughter, the Kids Party, Free Transportation to All ISUPK, and much more. Pay your fee now. Okay. Now, what kind of deal is this? You know, that you, you are paying for something that is free. Okay. And you got a lot of Israelites that's within these camps that still do this, you know, and don't realize that really it's a free thing, okay? The Passover is supposed to be held freely, okay? 
That's why the scriptures say they shall make merchandise out of you. This is making merchandise over you, okay? Because if the leaders are in their right mind, okay, they'll be like, let's just hold the Passover for free, okay? And they basically making the Lord's Passover basically a party, okay? The scriptures say this is a solemn assembly, meaning it's a serious gathering, okay? All right? During the back in the day when we was getting delivered out of Egypt, okay, we ain't had no damn party, man. Okay, we was trying to get the hell up out of Egypt, man. But these guys turned the Lord's Passover into something uh, that is not meant to be, okay? $200 for a damn hat. So, like, $200 just to get into the Passover, man. And you jakes that pay for this, man, you, you are lost, okay? But there's always hope. Okay, because we know there are sincere elect members amongst all camps. Okay, but we just teach these things to warn you, Israelites, to stay away from false prophets. Okay, because at the end of the day, this is just to make money off y'all. Okay, because if you really think about it, if they are true believers of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, okay, or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they will hell hold the Passover for free. Okay, and then you know it's 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 off because you got men and women there. Okay, you are gonna have married women there. Okay, and you are gonna have men there. Okay, looking for women. Okay, so at the end of the day, this is not a wise thing to do. All right, it's an order behind this. Okay, it's supposed to be a solemn assembly. If a man want to hold a Passover, he do so with, at his own home and to his own leisure. All right, so. <clears throat> You know, like I said, you know, tune into the Elder Matazakba's uh, video and his channel. Subscribe, you know, the Elder puts out of uh, edifying videos. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start it off with the first precept. Okay, because we have to honor the Lord's Passover, respect the Lord's Passover. Because if you don't do so, you resting upon yourself judgment. All right. So Deuteronomy 16, starting in verse one. And the reason it says, I observe the month of Bib and keep the Passover unto the to Yahweh thy power. For in the month of Abib, Yahweh thy power brought thee forth out of Egypt by night. Thou shalt therefore sacrifice the Passover unto Yahweh thy power of the flock and the herd in the place which Yahweh shall choose to place his name there. Thou shalt eat no unleavened bread. With it seven days shalt thou eat unleavened bread therewith. Even the bread of affliction, for thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt in haste. Okay. It didn't say, what did it say? For thou, for out of the land of Egypt, uh, so like it. I'm going to read it again, verse 3. Thou shalt eat no unleavened bread. With it seven days shalt thou eat unleavened bread therewith. Even the bread of affliction, for thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt in haste. Okay, remember it says it came out in haste. What does it mean to be in haste? Meaning you are uh, rushing. Okay, meaning you are moving quickly. Okay, so they in this time was in haste to get out of Egypt. So the Lord made them uh, sprinkle the bl uh, bl lamb's blood upon their doorposts. Okay. And eat of the lamb and um, the bread, okay, unleavened bread, okay, because they were in haste. We were in haste, all right. This wasn't a a, a party, okay. You don't hear nowhere in it. It says um, and be in a party, okay, be in the time of mirth, okay, because hey, the, the Passover wasn't a time of mirth, okay. It was a time of haste, man. It was a time to get the hell up out of there. <laughs> okay? And you know, you got Jake today. Want to hold the Passover as a party. Okay? That's disrespectful to the Lord's uh, Passover, man. Because the Lord got us out of there. Okay? In haste. All right? So, continue on verse uh, 4. Uh, continue on. It says, thou, That thou mayest remember the day when thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt all the days of thy life. And there shall be no leavened bread seen with thee in all thy coasts. Seven days thee shall there anything of the flesh which thou sacrificed this the first day 
as even remain all night until the morning. Thou mayest not sacrifice the Passover within any of thy gates, which Yahweh thy power giveth thee, but at the place which Yahweh thy power shall choose to place his name in there, thou shalt sacrifice the Passover at even, at the going down of the sun, uh, at the season that thou camest out of Egypt. Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, it's verse 8. And it says, And thou shalt roast and eat it in the place which Yahweh thy power shall choose, and thou shalt turn in the morning and go into thy tents. Six days shalt thou eat unleavened bread, and the seven days shall be a solemn assembly to Yahweh thy power. Thou shalt do no work therein. Right. And just in all in general, the Passover is a serious thing okay it's a serious event okay because the lord is going was passing over egypt okay giving out destruction giving out judgment all right it wasn't a time of partying it wasn't a time of mirth all right because when you look up this word solemn assembly okay solemn all right let's look at this word solemn definition all right. It says formal or dignified. Okay. It says dignified, ceremonious, or the next one. It says <clears throat> not cheerful or smiling, not cheerful or smiling, serious. Okay. Serious, earnest, grave, sober, so somber, unsmiling, stern, grim, door, humorless. Okay. So it's a serious event. Okay. Because you got to think about it. The Lord said he was going to pass over Egypt, okay? The Lord is giving out judgment to every firstborn within each within Egypt, okay? That was some heavy judgment going out, all right? So, when you think about it, our, the, the scriptures say we rehearse the righteous acts, okay? Meaning what? We do the best that we can on this side, but at the same time carrying the same mindset that our forefathers had during the Passover during the days of Egypt, OK, we got to have that same mindset. All right. We got to be in a mindset of, OK, be serious. OK, let's not eat unworthily of the Lord's Passover because that can lead to a death sentence. All right. So let's sit on that. Let's get first Corinthians 11 and 7, 11 and 16. And then you having somebody that's not in the truth. Um basically or uh, basically hold your passover at their facility okay an unbeliever all right making merchandise out of you all right two hundred dollars for a passover man come on now <laughs> two hundred dollars that that's not no light money okay so um first corinthians 11 and 27 and the reason it says, where is it at? 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 26 to 27. And the reason it says, for as often as ye eat this bread, drink this cup, ye do shew the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Okay, let's read this in the NLT. All right. It says, so every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. So anyone who eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord unworthily is guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of Yahweh Shai. OK, so if you are holding the Passover, you are holding it unworthily, man. OK, you rest judgment. OK, because you are turning the Passover into something that is not meant to be. OK. Because I remember last time, last year, or I don't know what time it was, y'all y'all had a little get together with the Passover. Y'all told me, "Yeah, we got fireworks and shit," you know. <laughs> where did where did the Lord say get fireworks? Okay, yeah, we got fireworks. Like what the hell, man? This is supposed to be a solemn assembly, okay? You ain't supposed to let everybody know what the hell you're doing. Fireworks is loud as hell, okay? That that that's how you know. This is this is the, what they are doing in I, the ISPK is bullshit, man. Okay, because we are supposed to be in a solemn feast, a solemn assembly. 
Okay, where is the scriptures going now? Where is the edification going now? Okay, oh, you got to pay two hundred dollars just to see the uh breakdown. <laughs> what the hell? You got to pay two hundred dollars just to see a breakdown, see some edification go out. All right, but that's wicked as hell. And you Israelites that can't see that, Lord willing, you know the the hopeful elect that's within these camps see like, yo, this ain't right. Well, I was on paying two hundred dollars to see a breakdown when I can see it for free at GMS. <laughs> okay, and that's just going to let you know that the spirit of the Lord is not with these other camps, man. Okay, because they're not teaching the one hundred percent truth. Okay. That's why we say here at GMS, we have the 100% truth because guess what? We don't cut no corners. We don't tell you no bullshit. And, and look, we ain't charging you $200 for a Passover, man. Okay? When brothers hold a Passover, man, that's with the Akim, okay? There don't be no women there. Okay? Like I said earlier, if a man want to have a Passover, he do it at his home. Okay? Because when you got men and women there, that can cause some kind of adulterous acts to happen, man. All right? Because, man, you look at ISBK, man, that just look like a bunch of niggas and nigga women together. Okay? If niggas wanted to call themselves an Israelite and put on the Israelite uh, clothing, that's the camp for you. Okay? That this truth is not to be taken lightly. Okay? This is a serious thing. This, this truth is a serious matter. Okay? This is life or death here. Okay? Being in this ministry, being in this truth is a blessing from on high. Okay, when the Holy Spirit is dealing with you, but when you taking the the uh, the, the the advantage, uh, making merchandise out of the Lord's ministry, man, you 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 deserve to get judged. That's why it says here, um, if you eat of this bread unworthily in the that's, you know the Passover, you know, because you got unleavened bread that you're supposed to eat. So if you eating bread with leaven, you become unworthy. All right, you supposed to unvoid leavening. That's why the scriptures say a little leaven and leaven of the whole lump. Just that alone, seeing that $200 fee, that, that's leavening, man. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go ahead and get um, 2 Corinthians 6. 6 in verse uh, 14. And the reason it says... <clears throat> Be ye not equally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship have like for what fellowship hath right hath righteousness with unrighteousness. Right. And this guy whack one hundred, I never heard of him. Okay. You are holding you you, you he, he don't believe in the truth, okay? He just see it as a quick buck to get, man. Okay, cause guess what? He making money off that. All right. Just think about how many Israelites gonna pay that two hundred dollar fee, okay? And not knowing that they being scammed out their money. All right. They don't see that. All right. They don't see that. And guess what? Wack 100 is going to make a lot of money off that. Okay. Not giving a damn that this is about the Passover. Okay. He just seeing it as a quick buck to get. Okay. And you know the leader is going to be making money off that too. All right. So at the end of the day, you Israelites that is within these camps how you not seeing that this is just a bullshit as quick money scheme okay because you know jake be trying to make a pyramid scheme within the truth okay this this, this truth is supposed to be taken serious man you're not supposed to make merchandise out of the truth okay now ain't nothing wrong with you know making you know bracelets and crystals and stuff but don't be um trying to use the scriptures and use the truth to uh, gain funds out of it. No, no, don't do that. Okay. If it's your business, hey, leave it just with your business. Okay. All right. Don't try to center the, the truth around your business. All right. Keep your business and the truth separated. Okay. Let the Lord, uh, help you along with your business. Okay. Cause the Lord could do that. Okay. The Lord said he increases and he decreases. Okay. He can make you rich and make you poor. All right. That's all of the Lord at the end of the day. All right. But once again, you know, that's why the scriptures say they make merchandise out of you, all right? They sell you shirts with scriptures on them and stuff like that. But at the same time, telling you, oh, yeah, you should buy this according to this scripture and stuff like that. to be remission. To They'll do that. Jake would do that, all right? So, continue on. 
And it says, And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Hamashiach Yahweh with a Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of Yahweh with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power, and as the as Yahweh has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Right. So at the end of the day, you can't be equally yoked with unbelievers. Okay. So you got this Israelite, whack one hundred, hosting your Passover, but at the same time he making money off that. Okay. He he can he probably give two fucks about the truth. Okay. Because at the end of the day, he see that as a quick uh, quick money scheme. All right. Uh, because at the end of the day, if he was a true Israelite, you know, he could have been like, nah, man, you know, this is the Lord's Passover, man. Y'all should be doing that for free. But at the end of the day, Jake ain't thinking about that. He looking at this quick money scheme, okay? But, hey, the, we coming into the times where the Lord is going to be judging Jake, man, okay? Make a merchandise out of the Lord's Passover. Make a merchandise out of the Lord's ministry, okay? So, let's sit on that. Get First Corinthians 10, 10 and uh, 21. This is First Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 21. All right. And it says, you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and the table of devils. All right. So the readers in the NLT and it says you cannot drink from the cup of the Lord and from the cup of demons, too. You cannot eat at the Lord's table and at the table of demons, too. So you got to pick and choose because at the end of the day, that Passover that they're going to have at ISBK is probably nothing but demons there, man. You know, but you got probably some Israelites that's there that's that's sincere, you know, and they thinking like, OK, maybe this is just for. Or good reason, you know, I'm participating in the Lord's past. So not knowing that they're getting scammed out their money. Okay. But at the same time, those that know what's going on, them demons, man. Okay. You got to separate yourself from them, man. But at the same time, it's going to take the Lord, you know, separating the elect from among them. Okay. Because that's who's going to separate them. Okay. We just bring out the word. Okay. Bring out the truth of the matter to for the Lord to separate them. All right, because, hey, we know that there's going to be Israelites that catch on to be like, this wasn't right. OK, they gonna get the questioning. OK, questioning our leadership. Like, hey, man, what was up with the Passover, man? It was $200 and, you know, where, where did the money go? You know, because y'all put it in your pockets. You know, I know y'all pay whack 100 for this. But at the same time, you got to understand, like, you can't drink of the Lord's Passover and, Sit with demons, you know, sit with devils, man. You got to pick and choose. You got to choose whom you're going to serve because the Lord made it easy for Jake, okay? Man, just, if your brother got a house, you know how to pass over at his house. Simple, okay? Because as me, you know, I hold the pass over with me and my rib, okay? We do it at the, with, with, with each other, okay? You know, I lead the pass over and stuff like that. Okay, because, hey, that's what the elders told us. If you got a woman and she wanted to participate in the Passover, you know, you have it at your own home, at your own leisure. All right? But at the same time, you ain't creating no damn, uh, what's the name of just to pay 200 the uh, Passover fee, $200. Like, got some kind of debt collection agency or something. Pay your fee now. <laughs> wow. It's like y'all pre-ordering a game or something, man. You pre-ordering something. Which you pre-order something you should get for free. All right? Just like Esau, man. You paying for water when water is free. <laughs> Come on, man. The Lord gave us the Passover to hold for free. All right? So that's it on that. Let's <clears throat> get Matthew 24. Because, you know, they in a, they going to have a party over there, man. That's what it seemed like, okay? Um, Matthew 24, and, uh, verse 36. And the reason it says, <clears throat> But that day, uh, that hour, no, I'm going to start at verse 37, so like you. But as the days of Noah, where so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, for as in days they were before the flood, they were eating, they were drinking. I mean, so like they were, were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. 
and knew not until the flood came and took them all the way. So shall the coming of the son of man be. Right. The reason why I bring this up because you Jakes, you Israelites, that's part, that's going to participate in that. That don't know because we know there's some sure elect members amongst all these camps that just don't know. They didn't know they was getting scammed out their money. They didn't know. But at the same time, that's why we do these videos, okay? Because we warning you and letting you know, like that that is wicked, okay? But at the same time, those that know and they are wicked as hell within ISPK. Hey, it's like as the days of Noah, they are having mirth, they having parties, they having fun, okay? Right now, we ain't supposed to be in the house of mirth. We ain't supposed to have fun, okay? Yeah, that's 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 the uh, that's that's somebody that don't care about the truth, okay? Now I say this, right? Ain't nothing wrong with enjoying yourself, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with enjoying yourself, okay? If you got children, you know you got a woman, you like to hang out and stuff like. Ain't nothing wrong with it enjoying yourself, but you have to have a balance behind it, all right? If you're going to go out to the bar with the eye ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? If you want to spend time with your children, take them to a bounce house, Six Flags, or whatever, ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? But you having a balance to it. You ain't partying all the damn time, all right? You ain't in a house of mirth, okay? Because, hey, if the Lord truly cared for you, <laughs> the Lord has set you in that, that reminder, like, hey, this is where you're supposed to be at. Okay, the Lord probably has something that piss you off and make you be like, man, fuck this damn place, you know. But, hey, that's the mindset you're supposed to have, all right? Not the mindset of uh, a walk a flock and shit. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party every day. No, you don't have that damn kind of spirit in this truth, man. You have a spirit of balance. You got a mentality, you got to have a balance, you know, within this truth because it's, the Lord says a false balance is an abomination to him. OK, because you got to weight things in a balance. OK, you got to have, you know, you got to have your, you know, you got your personal life and you got the truth. OK, but you always put the truth first at the end of the day. OK, now it's the locking for the rent. But at the same time, when you got this Passover, you got to pay two hundred dollars just to see a breakdown. Just, to, you know, they, they trying to enjoy themselves when the Passover is a solemn assembly. It's supposed to be took it serious, man. All right. So <clears throat> let's get uh, Luke 19 and verse 46, because, hey, man, this is what they are doing. OK, Luke chapter 19 and verse uh, I'm going to start at verse 45. And the reason it says, and he went into the temple. Yahweh Shah went into the temple and began to cast them out that sold therein and them that bought saying unto them. It is written, my house is the house of prayer. But ye have made it a den of thieves. Right. Y'all are making the Lord's Passover merchandise. Okay. Pay your $200 fee. That's a participate in the Passover. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, y'all, this is like a quick get money scheme for y'all, man. What, 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 why would anybody in your right mind pay $200 for something the Lord gave to us for free? That's part of our custom. <laughs> Come on, Jake. You Jake gotta think, okay? This is the Lord's Passover. This is something supposed to be taken seriously, and it's supposed to be for free, okay? Not taking the merchandise. That's why the Lord flipped those tables in there because they took the Lord's house and turned it to a den of thieves, making merchandise over Jake, man. So, do you think about it? Just think about it. Do you not think the Lord be pissed when you Israelites do stuff like this? $200 to participate in the fat Passover, man. Man. It's like certain things you just can't make up with Jake, man. Like, you wouldn't think Jake wouldn't do it, but Jake will do it. That's why the scriptures say, my people surpass the deeds of the wicked, man. $200 fees to participate in the Passover, man. It's fucking ridiculous, man. Um... Let's get Second Peter chapter one. Second Peter, yeah, one. Second Peter chapter one, verse one through three. Okay. Uh -oh. Oh, I think I think that's First Peter. So like. Let me make sure, because I think I'll probably put... 
put the wrong Peter in there. Okay, there you go. Second Peter chapter two, verse one through three. All right. And the reason says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies and denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon them swift destruction. Right. And when we see these things, we are witnesses to the wickedness that be held at these other camps. We are witnesses to this. Okay. Hey, as the scripture said, two or three witnesses. Hey, <laughs> how many brothers think you saw that, man? Okay. $200 fee. You pay it. You, you have an Israelites pay to participate in the Passover, man. That, that, that's wicked, man. That's a money scheme, man. But guess what? That's why the Lord has that happen. Because the angels see it. We see it. Okay? We judge a righteous judgment. We tell y'all not to do that because it's supposed to be held for free. All right? That's why it says, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Verse 2. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom of the way shall... The, the whom the way of the truth shall be evil spoken of. Right? Let's read this in a different version. It says, many will follow their evil teaching and shameful immorality. And because of these teachers, the way of truth shall be slandered. Right. And you're going to have these uh, two-third Israelites falling behind them. Okay. Le uh, leaders of the blind, man. Okay. As Yahweh Shah said, uh, let, the, let the blind lead the blind into a ditch, man. Okay. Because the, 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 these particular Israelites that follow these camps and they just going hard for them for their leaders but you know like i said we have we know there's elect members amongst all these camps those gonna be the ones that we question and be like this ain't right all right but at the same time those that follow them okay it's gonna lead them to being destroyed but at the same time that's how the lord set it up all right so verse three uh was yeah Verse three, and it says, and through covetousness shall with feigned words make merchandise of you. Right. Charging $200 for a Passover, that's making merchandise out of you. And it says, whose judgment now of long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. All right. Read this in a different version. It says, and their greed, they will make up clever lies to get hold of your money. But Yahweh condemned them long ago, and their destruction would not be delayed. So, hey, the Lord already predestined their destruction, okay? But those that follow them, you are predestined to get destroyed too. That's why it says, leaders of the, let the blind lead, be blind, lead the blind into a ditch. Meaning what? They're going to fall into that destruction, okay? So, that's why, hey, be thankful that you can see the bullshit that these other camps are in. Okay, be thankful that Yahweh Shmi Al Shai is giving you this Holy Spirit to see. Okay, because a lot of these other Israelites they can't see. All right, they can't spiritually see, they can't spiritually hear, they can't spiritually think. Okay, because they too blinded. All right, that's why they making merchandise over you Israelites over there in these other camps. Okay, so let's sit on that. <clears throat> Let's get Proverbs 23. All right. Proverbs 23 and verse 23. And the reason it says uh, right here, it says, buy the truth and sell it not. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. Right. So you read this in a different version. OK, N.O.T. Get the truth. Never sell it. Also, get wisdom, discipline good judgment okay now you go into the blue letter all right blue letter proverbs 23 look at this word by okay it's quana okay so it means to get, acquire, create, buy, possess. Okay, this one right here is a good one. Of Yahweh originating, creating, redeeming his people. Okay, to to get, acquire, obtain. Okay, that's why Yahweh said, Yahweh Shimei Shah told us, you know, speaking through Apostle James, 
He told him, okay, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of the Father. Okay, that's you acquiring of the truth, okay? That's you acquiring of the truth. And when it says sell it not, meaning don't go sell the Passover for $200, man. Okay, or selling a breakdown for a hundred and something dollars. I remember seeing that from IUIC. Selling breakdowns, man. <laughs> what the hell are they going to You pay for the breakdown? They sit it, it in a uh, VHS tape or some shit, <laughs> you know, or a DVD, you know? That's why the Lord said that, you know, buy the truth, meaning acquire the truth, meaning you get it for free. Okay, sell it not, meaning go take what you learn for free and go sell it to somebody for money. You don't do that. That's making merchandise out of the Lord's ministry, man. And that's why the Lord gonna kill you, Jakes, that do such things, man. All right? Um, let's get one more. I'm signing off. Jeremiah um, 5. This is Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse um, 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he set a snares. They set a trap. They catch men as a cage is full of birds. So are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great, waxing rich. They are waxing fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper in the right of the needy. Do they not judge? Right. And this is self-explanatory, you know, but I'm going to break it down. Our people, among our people are found wicked men, okay? These wicked leaders amongst Israel, okay? They call themselves the circumcision, all right? And they basically wax fat, meaning they are waxing rich, you know, off mer making merchandise off the Lord's ministry and making merchandise off you Israelites that don't know no better. But here, we are teaching you here at GMS to stay away from those kind of camps that do such things because guess what? They don't have your, uh, they don't have your kindness at heart, man. Okay, they just see you as merchandise. They want to make money off you, but that's why the Lord gonna destroy them. Okay, so I rested there. Lord willing, this edifying to those who watch. Give it on honor and infinite glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Kakadash. Till next time, to the next video. Shalom, Kumashirala, Bada Bala.